right so uh, yesterday we have seen about the post attribute uh, props so these are the props these are called as a props thing so whenever you send the props so this type key value attribute like this attributes value so it will be attribute pro attribute name and also attribute value so whenever you are trying to send these props so in the pay in the child component okay in the child component let's try to this one yeah in the child component where is this child component yeah in the child component we are declaring this props thing so we need to have a post and also we need to have an is is active so we are representing this props thing props name and we are representing this one so these are called as a prop attributes so apart from this props attributes for example for this single post i have added a class class is equal to some high and id is equal to uh, post id like this i have added some class and id to a component name so then what will happen let's try to see so when i try to apply this one if you see here and if i try to see this one in the console or in the elements see if you see here the class that id has been added to the single post component so here so whatever the single post component template is there the first template so here the first due <clears throat> so for this one it has been added so automatically when you mention this class id and all those things automatically these things will be added to the first root element here in this component in this child component so these are all non prop attributes these all things automatically will be inherited to the child component this is one thing you need to understand for example let's say that i will show you one scenario in the components i am creating one component let's say select component anything select component dot view so here i will be having a template now script i am writing a script so here in this template we will be having a div and in this div we will be having one select in this one i am having option to select and another one is something like one so here you will be having zero and one so just in order to get the values so this is a select component we are having and now i will try to add the select component here at the top at the top in the container so here i will add one div select component i am adding this component now this component we need to inject it so where can i inject why is this one coming here Let's leave it. components here i am adding this one select component now let's go into this one import import select component select component from so select component dot i am injecting here so now i am adding this component and i am using this component here let's see the output what will happen if you refresh this page so here i am able to see the select button right so here i am able to see the select button if you try to observe clearly i will try to add it below the post data so here let's go into this one add it below the post data and let's add some glass and if you see here this is the select data which i have added a component now for this one i want to add a class so let's say that here i will be adding class is equal to form control form control i have added form control if you go here see this form control class is automatically added to the duty so here we are having this this deep classical form control right this form control is added to the due thing automatically the non-prop attributes which are added to this component automatically inherited to this root element to this due but actually i don't want this class to be appended to the due in return i want to add it to the select element so what i can do so i can remove this due one one option is so now we are having only the select option now if you see here so this select option has a bootstrap default class so class has been appended to this form control right so whatever the non prop attributes you are having so these all the things by default will be appended to the root element here in the in the component which whatever the component you are mentioning so this is one concept you need to remember so not only these attributes we can also add something like i am having at the rate change 
okay at rate change is equal to on select change or something like this i have used it so some method is there now i can use this method in the methods on select change and here you will get an event and here i can write console.log of event event dot target dot value so i want to get the value of the select box what is the user has selected so now if i go into this one so that change the same change event whatever the event we have added here the attribute whatever the event you have added here the same attribute will be appended to this select thing why because this is the root element it will be applied to this one so whenever the user tries to change this we are able to get the data to the parent component so that means from the child to parent we are able to get it so here now when i am trying to change this value in the console if you try to see here i am able to get one and if i try to click zero so now whatever the thing we are trying to change this one is a child component so this one is a different component and we are able to get it in the post component so that means in the parent component we are able to get it so that means whatever the attributes we are having these all called as a non prop attributes these are attributes we can append it to the root element by default it will be appended so for example let's say that <clears throat> i don't want these attributes to be appended okay so uh, for example let's say that i am having some do so we are having lot of content here okay we are having lot of content here so like this we are having now if you try to see instead of applying the attributes to this select component uh, this uh, whatever the class and change whatever the attributes we are applying instead of applying to this select it will apply to the div why because div is the root element now now what i want is i don't want to apply by default these all the items so for example let's say that now even if i change here i will try to get i will able to get the value why because here i am trying to change the select box means the change event will occur to the div also so the event bubbling will be there right so that is the reason we are able to get the value but the class form control is applied to the div instead of applying it to the select box so here the select box instead of applying to the select box this has been applied to the form control now i don't want this one to appear so this this behavior i don't want it so that means attribute should not be inherited to the child component for this reason what we can do is export default so we have an option that is nothing but inherit attributes so which by default it is true so we need to keep it as a false so now when you keep it as a false so now if you see here if i refresh this page now these uh, classes and all those things are not applied to the duc now when i try to change the value here so we are not able to get the value previously we used to get the value but now i am not able to get the value why because the change event and all those things are not appended so now instead of in so i have stopped the inherited and now i want to get those non prop attributes and i want to apply to the element whatever the element i want it so now i want to apply to the element whichever element i want i want to apply so in order to get this value so how can you do is in the mounted i will try to show you how can we find it so here you can use console.log this dot dollar attrs so these all the uh, non prop attributes are present in the dollar attrs now if you see here the output here we are able to see the target the class and also the change event which are available the class and the on change event now what i can do here so these all the things should be applied here v hyphen bind is equal to and i can apply it to the dollar attrs so these are all the things i am applying it to this one so now if you try to see here see the select box has been applied now only the select box has been applied so now if i try to change the value here so this one is also getting changed so now i am able to get this value so not only for this select box tomorrow if you have any other select box for this one i can also apply these attributes to the to that one also instead of applying to only to the root element by default so now you are controlling this one if i want to apply only class means i can apply v hyphen bind of class is equal to dollar attrs of class so now only the class will be applied the change event will not be applied for this one both the class and all those things will be applied so like this also you can do it for example if you are having two select elements now if i try to select this one so we are not able to get it but the class is applied to this one here the class is applied and also the change event is also applied so like this we can control the non prop attributes and also we can apply to the elements whichever elements you want it you can apply and also now using this one we are able to communicate from the chain from the chain so this element is present in the chain 
whenever this child event whenever this element is changing we are able to post it to the parent also the parent is able to know using this event so now the parent can able to get the data and now the parent component can do whatever the thing it want so this is one way how we can do the things so let's go into the vue.js uh, thing okay fall fall through attributes the concept which we are trying to learn it is this one is the thing attribute inheritance i have shown you this attribute inheritance the class style and id everything will be inherited so here they are trying to explain these all things so here you can use the listener thing also so change event also i have shown you so here they are showing with a click event so how we can do these all things so disabling the attribute inheritance means we can use you need to use the inher inherit attributes is equal to false so it will disable the attribute inheritance and another one is <clears throat> if you want to use this on multiple root nodes means so you can use at the right click so dollar attr so here you can use it dollar attrs like this multiple you can use it for the multiple nodes you can use it so that is the main thing so this is the concept which i have explained it to you okay so now this is the fall fall through attributes now let's go on to the another thing that is nothing but an events so child to parent communication so another one we will try to learn it 